After meeting with Steve and hearing details about what he can recollect from his traumatic experience, Joan is now ready to begin his regressive hypnotherapy session with the team monitoring from the next room. All right. Are you comfortable? I guess, yeah. All right. <laughs> Just take a nice, deep, easy breath for me. Exhale slowly. Allow your body to begin to relax completely. Imagine that it's causing your eyelids to become heavier now than they were before. Very relaxed, very comfortable, but heavier and heavier. From the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet, now it's caused your eyelids to become so heavy, so drowsy, so sleepy, that in a moment when I ask you to try to open your eyes once again, you find that this time your eyes no longer want or need to open. So heavy, it's almost as though they're sealed shut. And you find that the harder you try to open, the more impossible it becomes. When I ask you to try to open your eyes, you only have to try to open for a second. When you find you're unable to get them open, it's okay. You were the one that moved all the heaviness there, so just relax further and deeper. Eyelids so heavy, so drowsy, so sleepy. The harder you try to open your eyes, the more impossible it becomes. It's like they're stuck closed, almost like they're sealed shut. Steve, try to open for a second for me. Very good. Now, Steve, we know that that very powerful part of your mind is open. I'd like for you to begin to picture yourself on the porch of a little cabin. That cabin is very comforting and feels like a safe place to you. Mm hmm All right, so when I touch your hand, if we ever need to, the minute I touch your hand, you'll immediately be at that safe place, at that wonderful, safe cabin. Now, let's go to that time in your life when you were 17. So you start walking. Then you told me that you come to a wall on the highway. What happens next? Uh -huh. It lights up. The wall lights up? Yeah. How does the wall light up? Bright. Where's that brightness coming from? <laughs> oh, a spaceship. <laughs> a spaceship? Can you describe it? Uh, uh, a bright light comes out. Comes down on you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's in the room? Somebody. Some person? No. No. no some person. It's not a person. No. Can you describe this? A long head. Yeah. A long head and a neck? Yeah. Okay. Got big eyes, too. Big eyes? Yeah. It's scary. Scary, I bet. Huh? I bet. What happens next? You go somewhere. Where do you go? I don't know. Oh, can you tell me? Uh, Relax. Hello, yay. Do you want to go to your cabin for a minute? No, let's keep going. You're okay. You're right here with me. Let's go to your cabin for a minute. Uh, You're okay. All right. And then what happens? Really? Do you know where? No, it's far away. It's far away. Yeah. Do you know what happens then? We go. We go back. We go back. Yeah. Do you know how long you're with them? No. No. And then what happened? They, they, they leave. What did you do then? Oh God. 
And you wake up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, Steve, I'm going to count. You'll find that with every number that I say, you'll find yourself coming back. Five, four, three, two, and one. So, do you remember what you talked to me about? Uh, yeah, everything. You do. Good. Is that stuff that you had remembered previously? Uh, not really. So it's not what you would have thought. No, I've seen pictures and images, and I hadn't seen before. It's kind of weird. I just could remember it. You know, I knew something wasn't right, but I never knew what. <laughs> 